All right. Um, Street Fighter VI comes out one week from today. I am very hyped for it, by the way. I know you guys are too, okay? Here's how I'm going to cover it. <clears throat> I am going to be taking certain characters in the training mode, messing around a little bit with them, trying to learn some basic strategies and combos, then taking them online and trying them in a competitive environment. I will also, at the same time, be juggling the single-player uh, World Tour mode, okay? Oh, look. There's Dan the Man, and then there's the Dan Man. That's why. There's a guy named Dan the Man, and then there's a guy named the Dan Man. So that's where the confusion is coming in. They're two completely separate chatters with similar names. So there you go. So Dan the Man, Crisis Averted, there's no one impersonating you. It's just different names in a different order. Okay. I probably read the name incorrectly then. Okay. <clears throat> okay, anyway. <clears throat> Getting back to the comment hotel we made. I'm, I'm going to be doing typical things I would do with a fighting game. Plus, I'm also going to try doing the story mode, World Tour. Making my own character, which I've already made in the demo. So we're just going to carry that character over. Doing the combat in the streets, leveling up with trainers, <clears throat> and doing all that content, okay? Now, <clears throat> I'm going to tell you this up front. I said this on a stream the other day, but I, it didn't wasn't on the podcast. Allow me to explain fully here. Would I like to do community nights where people from the, you know, the streams can join me in a lobby and we can play each other? Yes. Would I like to eventually do maybe a members-only night where members-only can join me. Yes. Those are things that I could possibly viably do, okay? Um, however, I don't feel like we should be promising anything until the game is out and has had a significant amount of time to be tested and played because I must cite Street Fighter V as an example. When Street Fighter V released, I put a lot of eggs into one basket. I told you guys it was going to be a major focus of mine, that I was very excited to jump into it. I loved Street Fighter IV at launch. It was a great game. I can't wait to play Street Fighter V. Everyone was so hyped and excited for Street Fighter V. And what ended up happening was when Street Fighter V released, it was a broken mess. It didn't work online for like three straight days. When it finally started working, the connections were atrociously bad and dropped constantly. The game was a piece of dog shit. And it took about two to three months for everyone to realize the game had the most lag of any competitive Street Fighter ever made. And it took them a year or more to finally update and patch the game to even be fun to play online in any capacity. Okay? <clears throat> so, the last thing I want to do, and you guys know this is a pet peeve of mine, when someone over-promises and under-delivers. I fucking hate when people do that. Why promise everyone the world, announce something, say it's coming, and then you don't live up to it, right? The last thing I want to do to you guys is say, hey guys, yes, we're absolutely...